Hi, I'm Margaret Simon. I work at the Air Resources Laboratory, which is in the NOAA Research Division. Uh, I do communications and outreach. My name is Allison Agather, and I'm a contractor supporting the Weather Program Office. I support the Social Science Program as the competition manager. My name is James Thorson. I'm a statistical ecologist with the Alaska Fishery Science Center, which is one of the research labs of the National Marine Fisheries Service, which is part of NOAA. My name is Amanda Nepburn. I am the Deputy Division Chief for Science and Technology at NOAA's Office of Ocean Exploration and Research. So over the years, our office has, has supported a wide range of ocean exploration activities through um, expeditions, through grant-funded research and partnerships. We also make all of our data that we collect publicly available. And we really didn't have a good way of finding, of tracking and sharing the outcomes of all this support um, to be able to you know, better communicate that to um, our, our partners, our grantees, to Congress, to leadership, um, to really demonstrate the, the outcomes of our support. Um, and so we uh, initiated a partnership with the library to conduct these bibliometrics. Earlier in 2023, the Weather Program Office had its first program review, which involved evaluating ourselves and providing information to an external panel of reviewers about how WPO does its job and how well WPO does its job. So uh, looking at quality and relevance to the scientific community. And so we were encouraged to reach out to the NOAA library and work with the bibliometrics team, Sarah Davis. She helped us compile a report about all of the publications that came out of WPO and WPO funded research for the past five years. So I got to the bibliometric service as part of the lab review in 2022. Uh, in order to prepare for the lab review, we had to consolidate all of our bibliometric stats for the last five years. There's a bibliometrics report that, that the library can put out for each lab or program or division to see what the bibliometrics are, what the H index of the authors are, and what the reach of each of the papers within the division are. I emailed the NOAA Central Library with you know, a question about bibliometrics, learning more about our scientific publishing practices at the Alaska Center and how we can improve those. I guess I've always been interested in, um, you know, trying to figure out if there's some standardized way of summarizing people's publication history and network, like in terms of what fields they're publishing in, um, you know, so ways of getting insight beyond just the number of papers they published or the impact factor, or their citation H index, help us make you know better judgments of people's scientific contributions. The library helped us compile that information into a succinct report that we were able to turn around and share with the external review panel. So we were really looking to better understand kind of where our data where our funding is is going in terms of research and discoveries on ocean exploration. I just asked for a report on myself, you know, and I know my own research. So I got like a two page like PDF attachment that had very reasonable sort of high level summary of subfields I publish in and what were some of my highest cited papers and so it was it was fairly collaborative. So the initial report we got, we had to go back and do some stuff on our end. So we had all of our authors go back and, and uh, update the researcher ID or ORCID or both. And I think the bibliometric support is a fair assessment, an independent assessment of the, the reach and breadth of the laboratory's work. So working with the, the library has, has been really wonderful, um, working with the bibliometrics team. Uh, communication has, has been easy. They've been um, helpful in providing guidance, you know, how to compile and, and use the information. In terms of what the process was for requesting it, I, I found it to be really smooth and friendly and, and, and straightforward and easy. Working with the bibliometrics team was a great experience. Be able to see past reports so that the team had compiled to see different options and 
be able to pick and choose what would fit our office's needs. We've had a partnership now with the library for a number of years to do a quarterly evaluation of um, all the publications that have um, come through uh, through our support. Um, it's been really valuable to help us be able to communicate um, the actual outcomes, to be able to evaluate, are, are we putting our funding in the right places? Are we meeting our, our mission goals through um, what we're doing um, and be able to better share uh, some of the outcomes of this research. The Bibliometrics Report helped explain with quantitative data the impact of research funded by WPO has had on the external research community. Feel responsibility for promoting a good scientific culture and you know any researcher should not just be doing their work but communicating it that's part of publishing it's not just publishing anywhere it's publishing in a place where people can read it where it gets the attention that the work deserves and it gets a large audience both so that our staff can have uh, scientific influence on the field and also that the center and NIMS can be recognized for the important work that we do. Let's put it this way. I think bibliometrics are an important tool for researchers to use so that we don't miss, the, miss a chance to brag about where we're good and uh, miss a chance to correct where we may fall a little short. So it's, it's worth, always worth taking a look at uh, your bibliometrics just to make sure that, that you, you know them as well as everybody else.